Welcome, ladies and gents, to another Caster Game. And uh, this one was submitted by the one and only Sir Callan. And whenever I say Sir Callan, everyone gets really excited because Callan likes to do crazy builds, unusual stuff. And some of it actually does work. It does actually work out, and it's kind of crazy. And it's really entertaining to, to cast them as well. And I've done many in the past. And uh, if this does make it on YouTube, of course, I'll put you know Sir Callan's details down below. He does stream every now and then as well, so... But let's see how this one goes. So Sir Callan in the bottom right part of the map here, playing as the Brits in the red. He has named himself this time Wood Pusher, which is a play on Wood Pusher, which is another player. So uh, we're just going to call him Sir Callan or Callan. Uh, and we've got Pedin here on the top left part of the map, playing as the Dutch in the Cyan. So we're going to keep a keen eye on Sir Callan in this game and see what he gets up to. Uh, honestly, I don't know how unusual this is going to be because it's the Brits, but he does do some crazy stuff with the Brits. I think once I did a cast where he did an, an age one that was like seven minutes or nine, like eight or nine minutes, maybe. It was like the longest age one ever, and it was such a hilarious game to watch. So let's see how this one goes down. Already straight off the bat, we're seeing some interesting things. We're seeing a TP opening. But, ladies and gents, we're not seeing the Virginia Company. Oh, no. We're seeing the Greenwich Time, which ships a trading post wagon. And each of your trading posts improve politician and technology research by 20%. And it's a fast one as well. It comes out really fast. So he's going to immediately be getting a second TP down, which is really, really nice. And is he going to grab this? Is he going to get this 75 wood? That's the ultimate question. Is he going to do it? Yes, he is. Fantastic. That's really, really good for Brit. 75 wood's nice. He does have his treasure in base as well. 35 coin. Thank you very much. And now, yeah, we do see two TPs. Look at this. Look at this. Using the Greenwich time. When do you see it? Not that often at the moment. So um, I'm very intrigued to see how this is going to end up. I'll be going to be seeing a fast fortress here. Gentle Pete, the pet bear, trying to run away from the evil man that is Henrard Wassenaer. You mean man. Okay. Another card available. What are we going to be going for? Are we picking anything here? Are we going for anything? No. We're going to be holding. Of course we are. And now, you know, Pedin already on the age up. Going to be going for the quartermaster. Very standard stuff with Dutch. You rarely change it with Dutch. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You rarely, rarely change Dutch stuff. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, so, Wood Pusher here. I keep saying Wood Pusher. Nah. Oh. Oh, no. That was out of range. <laughs> Hacks. Love it. Callan mad that he got shot there by the TC but it's okay he's going to be aging up he's a bit behind on the age up compared to Pedin uh, we do see Governor on the way and already a few vills on gold here what does this mean ladies and gents does this mean a fast fortress because the Governor gives you 200 coin and is he going to immediately send a 700 coin here because the Greenwich time gives you that extra XP remember you can see here it, well, not the extra XP. Yeah, he is doing it 100%. It just gives you another trade post. So it helps with your XP curve. And it means that you can see here, stuff finishes a lot faster. So your politicians, which is your age up, finishes 20% um, quicker. And your technology as well. So, yeah. He's 100. Look at that macro. 100 gold there. 200 is going to come in. And we're going to see a 700 coin shimmer. Look at that. Instantly coming in. And the outpost wagon. Yeah, he's doing it. He's doing, like, is he going to do, like, a Pyro? He's doing it, isn't he? He's doing a Spanish, aggressive Spanish FF, but as the Brits. I love this. Yeah, and straight behind it, 700 wood, exactly like you do with Spain. But we're seeing it with Brits. Let's see how this one goes down. It is a little bit slower than the Spanish, though. Where is he going with this? Can he... Wow, he can get that close. That is insane. Insane in the membrane. You can get that close. He's so close to the TC. It's crazy. A's and GUA. I love it. 
I love it. It's hilarious. He's going to be able to get himself a war dog. Very nice. And now the coin's coming in. And, of course, the 700 wood there. He has spotted it. So Pedin knows what's up. He's seen the forward outpost here. Is he going to lose his envoy? That is the ultimate question. He sees that, and he still is going for another bank wagon. He doesn't care. And he's building another one as well. He's going so greedy here. He's got to get a, a racks down or something, surely. Um, because Callan's going to be ready to age up. He's He's got that perfect 1,000 coin. Look how beautiful it looks. 1,000 exactly. And he's now going to be able to age up. Sub six minutes. Not bad. It's an old build, but kind of nice with the GMT card. Okay, so he's trying to work on old things whilst using newer cards. I like it. I like it. And the yeah, it is the Mohawk Statesman. A lot of people go for this now. Uh, it gets you the Tomahawks. He's going for that, and he's going for the Glorious Revolution. I'm just going to pause it here because, look, we do have this fantastic mod that means we get an idea of what this means for the Brits. We can see all of the extra church tech that you can get, and it's just a just a ton of units. We see in age three, a thousand food. We get the Black Watch, which are Highlanders, uh, the Rogers Rangers. It's all there. Hey, Captain, how you doing, man? Lion build? Is this a lion build? I don't know. Is it? Is it? Welcome, by the way. Do you see a church coming in now? Going to help with the XP, of course. That's 700 wood. He's going to drop a few more houses down here. Get his population space up. Now, is he going to be going? Is he going to be going for the Rogers Rangers here? Is he going to try and get 800 food? Or is he just going to hold off and do that a little bit later? Okay, he's going to be getting in the... Oh, he's going to be freeing, sorry, the native warrior there. Very, very nice. Age up is coming on. Pedin, how, how is he looking? He does have a racks down. He's got a few skirms. Is he on the age up just yet? No, he's not. So he hasn't got a huge amount of um, military here. We do now see the... The Howden and Shoney Tomahawks are out and about. And immediately we're going to be seeing two Falks coming in for them. Nice. And yes, we are seeing the food being collected, ladies and gents. We're going to be seeing it. <clears throat> we're going to be seeing the watch coming in. Which uh, actually costs a thousand food, I think. Yes, yeah, a thousand food. Yeah, he's going to try and get the black watch in. And he's going to try and push the black watch with the Tomahawks, with the Falks. Look at this timing. Going to be seeing them coming in. The Scottish Highlanders. Re get ready for it. There they are. Eight of them. There it is, ladies and gents. A nice push here. Very, very heavy, scary musketeers here doing 63 base damage. And he really wants to make sure that he, uh, that he focuses the Falconets here on the skirms if he can. And he is fantastically, his eyes on the ball. And he's going to be able to siege down the first bank here. And we do now see a stable coming down. Pedin is on the age up. Is he going to be able to hold this off? Yeah, he wants to get this house down. He wants, that's perfect. He wants to pop cap him. So now he can't get a card, ladies and gents. He can't do it. Which is really, really crucial. Remember to do that when you're against a sieve that potentially could age up. Get rid of the house. He really disrupt population. And he is now going to be able to get a card in. Envoys are going to try and do what they can do here. They're going to try and punch down the Falconet. I mean, Envoys are just stupid, aren't they, really? They're just crazy. And um, what is Callan's next play? Oh, my God, he's getting priests. He's getting priests. I'm not too sure what his next plan is. He's uh, actually got himself a thousand wood. Okay. And he's actually managing to like sort of get the TP line here, so he may as well just go stagecoach.
And uh, is he healing? He's healing the falconet. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at him go. Booming and healing. That's it. So, yeah, so we do see the priest coming out here. Just one priest has managed to heal up both falconets. Very interesting play. We're seeing the classic skirm writer coming out from Peden here. And I like the play of taking the, the TP line here. And we do see eight settlers coming in for Woodpusher. Uh, sorry, not Woodpusher, Sir Callan. So Sir Callan is now booming behind this. Hey, Batu, how are you doing? It's a Threeville 700 coin church tech, 1K wood, right? No, no, it was, uh, it was GMT. It was GMT into 700 coin, 700 wood. And then he went for church tech after that. So he actually used the GMT card to to get him uh, using this Fast Fortress strategy. And it kind of works. GMT first card, yeah. Is the GMT the first card? Yeah, definitely. Now I'm going to see another card available now for Sir Callan. Now he's going for the thousand coin here. He's got a lot of units just all split out all on the map. You can see as well a nice little line that goes straight through the map here of houses, outposts. And uh, now he's starting to get the Cree. Yeah, never forget this on this map, guys. The, uh, the, the Cree settlement. Really, really good for Cree trackers and, of course, the good old CDBs. Once again for Eco, and he's just trying to outboom Peden here. I think he's on 51 villagers, Peden on 25. He's got himself only three banks. He did lose a bank when Sir Callum pushed in earlier. So please tell me he goes FI. I don't know. It makes kind of sense, doesn't it? I mean, we do now see the coin. We're seeing the food stacking up. I think it is going to be a fast industrial, and uh, that is going to offer him the Congreve rockets. Three rockets and then access to just loads of other stuff. There it is. The age up is on. I'm going to be seeing the engineer. The engineer, I believe, gives you two falcs. Gives you two falcs, doesn't it? He's going to be losing A's and GUA there. <laughs> Love that. Just see a lot of just skirm right to here. Finally, we're now starting to see some coals now coming from Peden. So anticipating that we're going to be seeing some artillery here. Does he think that he is going for that age four madness? He's just about to get into it now. And we're going to be seeing those two Falks coming out. There they are. And immediately going for Rogers Rangers, ladies and gents. The thousand coin card. I think it's a... No, it's not a thousand coin, is it? Being stupid. It's, uh, what is it? Rogers Rangers. It is. It's 800 food. Yeah. And transforms longbows into rangers. Yeah. Sorry. It's not the thousand. It's not the other one. I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of the Queen's Rangers. But you get 30 rangers from it. We haven't seen that. Remember, rangers are basically skirmishers, ladies and gents. Very, very high resistance, 35%. Not to be sniffed that. They are only four movement speed. Just like normal skirms. And uh, these rockets are going to be crucial. Are they going to be able to come out of the outpost? Does he want them to come out of the outpost? I don't think so. The Colve here, there's only one. There they are. They just need to quickly assemble and get straight on it. Oh my god, that's going to do huge damage. Colverin does go down. All those skirms there, all bunched up. And uh, unfortunately, the rockets are going to go down. The rioters are in melee, but they're going to be able to do quite a bit of damage before they do. Those skirms getting absolutely annihilated. But um, unfortunately, it looks like Sir Callan's army here actually getting cleared up quite a bit. The Black Watch really trying to get in melee with the rioters here, doing a lot of damage. And uh, oh my god, he, he revolted. He, he's revolted. I didn't even see that. He went for a cheeky revolt. He's gone for the South African revolt, ladies and gents. And, um, wow. Okay, yeah, all the buildings, apart from a few, turn into Trek wagons. What on earth is going on? 
Uh, we are going to be seeing factories and the robber barons coming out now. And look at what we have access to us here. We have five military wagons. We have two bank wagons, two covered wagons. I don't even know what these trek wagons do. I, I, I don't understand what they, they do. You can garrison stuff in them. So they just, they can shoot. I, I, when you garrison stuff in, I've never really seen this revolt, to be honest. The, um... The South African revolt here. What on earth is going on? You garrison veils and they shoot like mobile TCs. Oh my days. We are going to be seeing mass production coming in now. Another card available. Going to be in second factory coming out for Sir Callan here. What is his plan? What is he going to do with this? What do we see? The wagon warfare. Fully replaced your light cavalry units in the stable with Imperial War Wagons. There it is. A thousand wood to do that. And uh, he has two stables. And oh my god, what on earth is going to be happening here? He's going to be able to get the, oh, the Imperial War Wagons. Imperial H5 War Wagons. Commander? And now he's garrisoned them. Look at, look at them. Look at this. 50% range resistance when these vills are in here. Do they actually do any multipliers? They actually have no multipliers, just base damage. So basically, they're going to just go alongside the, the war wagons here, and they can probably tank just a lot of the damage. He's going to get the walls down here. He's got to wait for this to come in. He's going to have to cook a little bit. But look at that. One volley, and it barely does anything to these Trek wagons. And he has full population as well. I don't think... Yeah, these don't provide population. So basically, he's full popped now. Doesn't have to worry about houses. And we're going to be seeing some rockets coming out of the factories. Now we're seeing the Imperial War Wagons coming out of the stables. He still keeps all of his vills. I mean, it's not a bad... It's not a bad revolt. Need a counter revolt from Dutch. Yeah, Pete in here is just going to continue with age 3 He's going to go for... Uh, Skirm and Ryder here. And he uh, unfortunately doesn't want to lose uh, too many vills here. Look at this Trek Wagon now. Does 63 base damage. Uh, you really want to spread out the vills, I think, as well. Because you don't want to overkill. Uh, we are going to see a pop from the Militiamen here. And the rocket here coming out. Going to have another rocket shortly. Those Imperial War Wagons are going to be coming out. Ten of them are going to be coming out very shortly. It's going to be very, very scary. Commando? My god, look. 75 ranged attack. Oh my god, that's going to do so much damage. And he's just going to try and get his writers in here. But the German, uh, the, the, the war wagons are going to be able to do some decent damage. We have the Trek wagons also on top of it as well. Going to be able to do some kind of damage here. I love, I love just looking at the guys in the back there shooting. That's really cool. Um, and they're actually going to be able to see off Pede in here. Absolutely amazing. And now he starts to get his own two bank wagons. Absolutely huge. And he's just going to continue to make war wagons. And um, yeah, I think he's going to be all right. You can sort of see them in there, but you can't actually see any vills. I don't know whether it changes when you do get vills in them. But uh, pretty wild. Seeing Arsenal going down all the way on the north side there. And look at that. Another batch, hopefully, of 10. is going to be nine war wagons. Nine more war wagons. He's got 18 war wagons. Obviously, 20 trek wagons he's got as well. Absolutely wild. we're going to see some kind of push here happen. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a push coming on. Something is going to happen. I think he's probably going to wait for his... Yeah, he's got another rocket now coming out. Climb. 
Look at all these war wagons. It truly is insane. Going to be coming around this side. Just going to start popping off on villagers. Oh my god, there's so many villas here. Oh my god. Do something. Do it. Just shoot. Oh my god, he didn't even see it. He absolutely missed it. That's absolutely insane. He could have done so much damage. Um, looks like he is actually going to lose a few vills here. Which is quite unfortunate. He could have got a huge amount of vill kills there, but just kept his eye off the ball. I think he's just going to try and save them. The war wagons are just coming through. Look at them. It's like a massive serpent coming through the base. We do now see the militiamen popped. He needs to be careful here because he's under the TC. He does have another card available. Pete in here has another card available as well. He needs to be careful. Those rockets can hopefully help him here. Writers are going to try and get on top of the rockets again. They really, really, really wants to kill those rockets. And uh, I can just see them amongst the, the the wagons. And there is the GG from Pedin. Oh my lord, ladies and gents. What an absolute just just carnage. Absolute carnage. Look at it. Crazy. Amazing game. Absolutely love that. The South American Revolt with the Brits. Absolutely classic. Commando? The Trek wagons, which are really cool, which I, I completely forgot about these units. Um, yeah, the Trek wagons, there they are. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I might get a little, little cheeky screenshot of that. There it is. <clears throat> Amazing. There we go, guys. That is going to be the last casted game. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Callan doing what he does best. Janky wild builds. Resources gathered, you can see. Out, out gathering. Absolutely crazy.